Hey guys, for today's video, I wanted to do a little story time. So the question today is, how did I start violin or why did I start violin? I have been playing violin for 10 years now. I'm a violin major at a conservatory. If you want to check out my playing, I'll link my Instagram down below. I post violin videos there quite often. So the question is, how or why did I start violin or music specifically? Well, let's go all the way back to the beginning. So actually, my family doesn't have the most musical background. Um, my mom's side didn't learn music at all, and my dad's side, my grandmother played the piano. So at a young age, um, when I was around five years old, she started teaching me how to play piano. She taught me how to read music, and she taught me pretty much everything. She taught me all the basics, and she taught me how to play piano. I, I hated it. I despised piano. Even though now I love piano, it's one of my favorite instruments and probably my favorite instrument to listen to and I definitely wish I played it still. I would beg my parents not to make me play and even 20 minutes was torture for me. So um, I would beg my parents, find all different excuses as to why I couldn't play and eventually they realized that it was true. My excuse was that my hands were too small. I don't know if you can tell, but my hands are really small, and proportional-wise, they're just really small. <laughs> so I begged them to let me quit the piano. Little did I know that I would be switching instruments and not quitting music forever. So when I was around eight or nine years old, they finally decided that I could try a different instrument, a smaller instrument. So they switched me to the violin because I was at my grandparents' house in China. And my family friend happened to play the violin, and she had a violin that she didn't need anymore. So she gave it to me. So my parents started me on lessons, and they thought that I could play the violin because I had small hands. Little did we know, 10 years down the road, that you would have to reach stuff like octave, like, like tenths and further, and you still need big hands to play violin. But that's a different story. Anyways. So we switched to violin, and I also, I liked it more than piano, so I stuck with it a little bit. But it's just crazy to think that all of this led to who I am now and how far I've stuck with violin considering I hated music. And when I started, I liked it more than piano, but I still hated it. And when I finally quit piano and violin became my main priority, that was when I really hated violin. Like, I would, I would cry when my dad said I had to practice one or two extra minutes because I was whining about practicing. I, I hated violin. But it's funny how the things that you used to hate turn out to be the things you love most. So, you know, we went through some rough patches and then around 7th grade, so when I was 12, I realized that I actually really liked violin. Like the first piece I remember that I enjoyed practicing, it's called La Zingana, but it was really fun to play and that was the first time I was like excited to start a piece and actually practice. And then from then on it was just orchestras, all state, and things like that, and then eventually in high school I decided, a little bit late to the game, actually quite late to the game, but I decided that I wanted to pursue violin as it was the thing that I liked most. And this isn't to say that I don't like other things. I loved biology, I considered majoring in that as well. Um, I honestly loved every other subject, except physics, but um, they were all the same to me. So if I majored in any of those, it would just be like, okay, but violin is the only one that I would love doing. So my parents supported me, I'm super thankful for them. But they supported me on this journey and I'm here now, my first year as a violin major. We'll see where life takes me. Um, I never really saw myself as a music major, like eight year old me would be shook right now. <laughs> and I never really saw myself as a music major. I never considered myself to be an orchestra musician. So we'll see what I end up doing. I do love teaching, so I can see myself doing that, but I do have many other passions as well, as you will see eventually on this channel. After I switched to violin, I did play other instruments as well. I played flute in my elementary school band in fourth and fifth grade, and then I stopped after that. I tried to teach myself cello, it did not work out, mostly because my cello wouldn't tune. I promise you, I spent hours tuning that. And by the time I was done tuning every time, I was too tired to practice. I did try to learn other instruments. None of them stuck as well as violin. So 
I'm super glad everything led up to this moment in my life. Um, I wouldn't have it any other way, and I also can't wait to see where life takes me. If there's anything I've learned, it's that life is unpredictable. Thank you so much for watching or listening or whatever, and be sure to drop a comment, uh, leave a like, and subscribe. I can't wait to see you guys next week.